Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the best AOSP custom ROM for our Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is Lineage OS and no doubt it's the best custom ROM because the latest build has been improved a lot and the stability has also been improved with a lot of fixes. Uh, first, let's take a look at the about phone, it says Android version 10 obviously, then Lineage OS is 17.1 and uh, it is the 8 October build, it also comes with the October 5 security patch and the vendor security patch is also August 1, 2020. So guys, first let's talk about the stability of this ROM. Now the ROM is like totally stable. Uh, this is the 16th build of the Lineage OS 17.1 and it's totally stable. October build, October security patch and all the latest blobs and all the stuff is present. A lot of fixes have been done, a lot of stuff has been uh, you know a change to make it uh, totally stable for you know a Samsung Exynos device and you know I mean uh, like a Samsung Exynos device because a lot of devices the Samsung Exynos have AOSP custom ROMs but they are not at all stable uh, some has some issues with hardware composer some normal issues mostly and flagship device getting this much stability like I have seen this is the first one and also asset is getting good stability now so thanks to all of the developers who are working totally fine and and also the S9, the S10 are also getting custom ROMs. So this is really amazing. The flagship devices, mostly, uh, you know, uh, the budget like the J7 and J series devices was uh, being developed really, uh, you no know, well. And now the flagship devices like our S8, S9, uh, S10, S7, everything uh, is possible only due to Project Treble because, you know, the new devices are getting updated. You can flash uh, like any uh gsi the new gsi if the project treble supports it obviously but yeah you can like actually boot any gsi and then you can try out stuff so that helps in development that is amazing like the developers supporting project treble and also because of that the asp development is improved in samsung so that's amazing and hats off to the devs for working really nice and also you can donate to them they're buying a new board from samsung which costs cost like 3000 euros i will give you a telegram link for that developer and also the link of his paypal and please like i'm a youtuber so i'm just you know uh pasting a donation link down there so you can just confirm to him that if the link is real and then donate to him like no donations come to me everything goes to the project you can open the link and you can see the pool which is for like three thousand dollars or something uh and you can just donate there if you want to contribute to the development also you can donate to the developer uh by you know contacting him on telegram i'll give the link down in the description so yeah that's it uh, for the stability and all like no need to explain everything double tap to wake uh the hardware composer which is main to you know run the ui smoothly is working fine so yeah like we can at least appreciate through comments or you know donating a small amount from our income so yep uh, that's it for the stability now guys about the features i have made a separate video on lineage os 17 features like the general features you can check it here in the i button but uh, the samsung uh, s7 and the s7 edge has some extra features so into display uh, we have this you know the basic live display and that stuff uh, double tap to wake which also works fine so no doubt here which is really nice for our device and we also have the normal tap to sleep and all that hard touch sensitivity stuff and here we have advanced display so this is display related the scenario you can change whatever you are doing and uh, this is accessibility mode accessibility mode sorry uh, inverted we have color blind so for color blind people you can use that you can you know it changes the colors which are not visible to them and then gray which is your like gray color then we have gray inverted and it's inverted to white because it was black so and the normal inverted and you can just you know check that gray inverted which will turn the colors to gray and inverted which will invert all the colors uh yeah it's because it's you know for some of the people which are uh i actually you know have some issues here but here here we also have the flicker free so if you are using on low brightness and it's, it is like flickering so you can enable it now this removes maybe uh, dim some pixels so the image quality may uh, be you know degraded so for that uh, you have to like it's just stuff for reading and all that stuff when the things are getting bad and then uh, what extra else we have uh, yeah that is all uh, the extra we have all the general features you can check it here in the 
लिनेज जो सेक्शन है अदर फीचर्स आर ऑल्सो यर एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट नो मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टफ विच इज सोर्स रिलेटेड एंड द डिवाइस रिलेटेड एवरी थिंग वर्क फाइन वी ओ एल टी डज नॉट वर्क बिकॉज यू नो दिस इज सैमसंग एक्सिनोस एंड सोर्स इज क्लोज लाइक क्लोज सोर्स बाय सैमसंग सो यू नो दे वोट इजिली गिव ऑन दैट एंड सम डेवलपर्स हैव बीन ट्राइंग टू यू नो एनेबल वी ओ एल टी ऑन सैमसंग डिवाइसिस लाइक फॉर ए ओ एस पी रॉम्स लाइक नॉर्मली इट वर्क फाइन बट ए ओ एस पी रॉम्स इट डज नॉट वर्क एट ऑल so yeah let's see i hope we can see it soon on our samsung devices and people can actually use their jio sim card which is uh, like a volti enabled uh, sim card uh, like forced volti so if you want to use that sim card you need to have volti on your device supported so yeah maybe those people suffer in india and maybe some other countries where the sim cards have forced volti in there so yeah that depends on the sim provider and nothing much to say this video was all about explaining uh you know it, it all went to explaining the stuff and all everything like it's totally fine you can just go and use this rom also appreciate the developer which is the most important thing and that is it that is it uh now let's move to the installation and for the installation uh, we will just use the normal method but still people will ask about so yeah now if you want to watch the installation you can watch this part or else you can just go to description if you are uh, like pro person and then you can check the text description and then follow that so now let's reboot to recovery and do the procedure now guys into the twrp recovery first you have to wipe your older rom now if you are coming from samsung stock rom and if you are using like if you are just flash twrp rooted device and if you want to try out the lineage os 17 rom you have to back up your internal storage and also uh, first you have to format your you know the data and then you can again reboot recovery and do the stuff then you have to follow the normal procedure which is uh, wiping this these are the four partitions you have to wipe swipe to wipe and go back install and here we have uh, the lineage os zip these are the three zips i am using uh, zips i am using uh, this is magisk for root access this is nick gfs the gfs you can use any android 10 gfs and make sure they are arm 64 and yeah first of all you will just flash the uh rom and g apps and you can reboot and then afterwards uh, when it boots you can go back to recovery and flash root if you want which is not like optional it's not required so let's skip this so yeah the installation is successful and i'll just uh, cancel the reboot to reboot automatically option and yeah here we go now it will boot uh, and it will show the lineage os uh, boot animation the normal teal one and it will boot in like some seconds 20 30 seconds so yep that is it for the video if you guys like this video press the like button oh here it is like button if not under the dislike button the buttons are down here and also press the subscribe button the red one and subscribe me if you want to see more videos on s7 and other devices so bye bye and guys take care and wear a mask always so bye bye see you guys soon in with the new video till then bye bye